concern. But after three points against Swill Park Rangers and three points against San Antonio FC, Orange County starting to distance themselves as we're officially underway from champions. Zambrano trying to spark the counterattack the other way. Christian Duke couldn't get there. Great move. T2 on the move. It's a two on one. Still with it. T2 all the way. Oh my goodness. It's an individual effort that only some can dream of. Marvin Loria. Stuck and then once again caught flat footed, and Loria is just able to gain that ground 1v1. And that's a confident finish. Just knows that he can chip Lopez there. He has so much space. Nobody's even trying to get close to him. It's a nice finish from Loria, though. What a hopeful ball. Barbie, a great touch over Quinn. Still with Barbie. Let's it fly. It's two for T2. This time it's Jack Barbie getting involved. Those Quinn's coming. Quinn does a great job getting up for it, assuming the ball's gonna be popped over. Yet Barmy still gets a hold of it. Has enough entry balls finally played in. Quinn again on the corner. Towards the back post. Free header saved by McIntosh. And cleared out by Lamar Batista. Looking together. The shot can't go. But look at that ball sent in from Quinn. It's not floated in. It's actually beginning of the season. Won their first five out of six matches in the 2018 campaign. A little bit of a honeymoon phase is Ina Voltsen looking to get there. Ina Voltsen shot just skipping wide. McIntosh might have got a touch to it. For Ina Voltsen. Chris movement on and off the ball from Orange County. Seaton back. Quinn. There it is for Orange County. They cut the deficit in half. And it's their leader in the middle of the park, Aiden Quinn. Terrific team buildup for Brady Cloutier's side. 2-1 and game on. It's crisp movement. This ball from Enna Voltsen finds Seaton. And then he has a nice little touch to find an incoming Quinn. It's crisp. Time running out on Orange County for a great opportunity to pick up three points or a point against the side that'll be vying with them for a playoff spot. As Ina Voltsen able to get there. Can he tap it home? It's in. It's over the line. Thomas Ina Voltsen. It's a dozen on the season. And it brings Orange County level. Look at this ball textured in from Quinn. It hangs up in the air, but it forces three T2 players together. That barely sneaks in from Ennevels. And that's going to do it. Four goals split right down the middle on either side of halftime. Two unanswered goals for Orange County in the second half.